Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to more TGC 2019. Now the course we're going to be playing today is by Icy Ken and this is Hermit of Mink Hollow. That's a nice name for a golf course. And this is done in the Swiss theme, so I've called it Swiss Invitational because he's put the crowds and the grandstands and things like that on. So I've done it in a sort of tournament environment. So let's get started. We'll put the AI on very hard. Uh, we're going off the white tees and it's 7,409 yards if I remember right. I've left everything else on default. We're playing pin set number one and let's get going. Screenshots look really nice. Oh, that's a nice looking first hole. The Swiss Invitational. Yeah, you've got the grandstands and the crowds. Do like the lighting as well. Casting long shadows over the fairways there. It must be like a early morning tee off I think. Uh, you've got the nice snow-capped mountains of the Swiss theme. Very nicely done. Oh, this does look very nice. Let's put the old sky cam on and have a little look around. Do you like his little rock wall there? Very nice. Lovely planting of the grasses and things. Looks pretty natural. Uh, I thought that with some of the screenshots I've seen on the forum. It's like a very natural kind of course. I do like the way he's got some of the spectators just dotted along the path and that as well. Okay, more grandstands. Okay, we've got a bit of a bit of a river running through it, it looks like, yeah. Or is it patches of water? Yeah, I think it's just patches. There's a sort of big river there, it goes all the way up that side. Okay, let's have a Little zoom down here. Again, lovely planting. Very nicely done. Okay, is this the clubhouse? Can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember where it started off from. Okay, nice bit of water down here. Probably got a couple of par threes. Nice little bridge just going over that sort of little island there. No, it's not an island, just takes you across to the side. Looks very nice though. And we've got another sort of big lake here. A nice big bridge. Yep, very nice. Again, lovely planting and that. Okay, I think we've seen enough. Ah, there's the there's the clubhouse there. We'll get back onto the first tee and we shall get this underway, shall we? Well, you've got a driving range over here. Little practice facility. The old putting green. Looks like it's at the back of the 18th, I'd imagine that is. Or the, yeah, it's got to be the 18th, I think, is that one? And there I am down here. Sitting, waiting, waiting patiently as he usually does on the first tee for me to get my ass in gear <laughs> right let's get the hud back on and get started looking forward to this looks nice okay what we got here hole one 479 yards par four stroke index 10 we've got 12 mile an hour wind coming in from the left hand side here we're going to aim down this left hand side Nice drive to start off with. <clears throat> oh, a bit of a short one, 289 yards. That's that wind holding up. Okay, 190. So it's playing around about 195. I'm going to go with a six hybrid. We're going to put loft on it. That wind is still coming in pretty strong off the left hand side here. Oh, that wind's pushing it. That's going to be right at the pin, I think. Oh, that's not too bad. We're on for a birdie putt. All right. Oh, slowed down pretty quick there. Quite pleased with that. Okay, what have we got? Hole 14. No, what am I saying hole 14? <laughs> 14 feet, 3 inches down. Okay, 14 feet, 3 inches down. 167 greens. Oh, Look at that blooming putt and swing. That's terrible. Push that way out to the left. OK, 
Okay, we'll pick up a par then. Okay, who we've got here? Charlie Hoffman, Charles Howell III, who's actually Spanish in this. <laughs> JB Holmes, Paul Waring, John Ram, Louis Tuzen, Scott Vincent, Bryson Bergun, Matteo Pavon, Richie Ramsey. So quite a good quite a good lineup there. Oh two, two hundred and twelve yards, par three, stroke index six. Nice looking little par three this one. Again, nice planting. Pin is kind of off towards the back. Okay, 211. So it's playing around about 208, 209. I think we should be good because that wind is going to hold that up. Let's go with the 216, the full hybrid. Oh, that wind's a little bit stronger than I thought. Pushed it way out to the right there. And we're just off the edge of the green. On the fringe, you had a putt or a chip. I think I'm going to go with a putt. So it's 19 feet, one inch down. No, that's to the left. Nice weight on it. Again, we're going to pick up the par here. Oh yeah, if anybody's uh, you know, the Alfred Dunhill links, I was going to do King's Barnes and I was going to do Connusty, but I had a asked on the forum if anybody had played them and the, the sort of feedback I got back was don't really waste your time on it. They're not very good recreations of Connusty or King's Barn. So I didn't bother. So I thought I'd bring this one out. Hermit of Pink Hollow. This looked nice. Another nice and natural looking course. I mean, I didn't even get a chance. I've seen little bits of it on the TV over the weekend, but... Not a lot. Okay, nice drive. Wind's dropped down a little bit. Down to 8 mile an hour that. And again, only 284 yards. It's a par 5 as well. 262. That's playing around about, around about 255. I don't think we'll get there with the 2, but I think we'll probably just get just off the edge. Yeah, I don't think it'll make it. The wind went back up to 12 mile an hour, that. Oh, that was close, though. That will give us a little chip and a putt for the birdie. Okay, 11 yards. We'll stick with the lob wedge. Too bad, only 90% power that. Didn't need a full shot. And we'll pick up our first buddy. Nice. Nice little tap in. Okay, anybody else coming in? Paul Waring, B. Henry, Luke List. Everybody else is the same. K hole 4, 445 yards, par 4, stroke index 14. Again, nice plant in that. Do you like the way he's just dotted the sort of spectators down the paths either side of the fairway there? Looks really nice. You know, got them the way some people do a big clump here and a big clump there. Yeah, he's got them spread out pretty well. Okay, 10 mile an hour wind with us this time. Don't really need it. 440, 431. Oh, we hit so fast. Hope that wind keeps that straight. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, pull up. Oh, that's not too bad. Nice. 319-yard drive. Okay, 122 to the pin. 108. Oh. I think we're going to have to go with this. Down loft it just a touch. Just want to make sure to get on the green. That's why I down lofted it. Goes past the pin then. Oh, just, just get on the green now. Actually bounced on the rough first. Nice planting in the bank, the other side of the, the water there. So that sets us up for another birdie putt. Nice. 
Okay, we'll be two under. Nine under after 18, that's Charlie Hoffman. John Rams on nine under, so is Charles Howell III. And they've got a few holes to go, especially Charles Howell. He's on the 14th and he's nine under, wow. Hole five, 443 yards, par four, stroke index 12. Again, another natural, very natural looking hole, this one. Not a bad drive, be right up the middle. Three hundred and thirteen yards, middle of the fairway. One twenty five, so it's playing around about one twenty eight, one twenty two with the gap wedge. Let's put some loft on that. Pull up. Oh, distance was absolutely perfect. I just pulled it a little bit over to the left. Okay, nine feet. Bit of a swing on it, this one. Oh, too much of a swing. Oh, that might be a tough one coming back as well. I tried to put a little bit too much pace on it, try and take some of the break out. Oh, just got that one though. That's a par. Still on minus two. This is going to be a struggle, this one. Okay, hole six, five, uh, 459 yards, par four, stroke index four. Okay, I wonder if we'll be able to cut over the top of this bunker here on the right. Might be able to. Okay, the wind's coming in from the right, so we're going to aim down that right-hand side and let it draw it back in towards the fairway. That'll do lovely. Just under 330 yards. Bit of a left to right slope here. That wind should counteract some of that. Hey, 128, 130. So let's down loft that a little bit. The wind should push it now. That's looking good. Not bad at all. If the ball slows up, come on, stop, stop. Oh, I thought I would have pulled up a bit quicker. Oh, it's not a pretty tough little putt, this one. 13 feet, 4 inches up. Oh, under hit it. No. That's a terrible putt. You've at least got to give them a chance. That had no chance. K hole 7, 521 yards, par 5, stroke index 18, downhill par 5, yeah. Great view from the tee. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I do like the Swiss theme course. I think the, the pine trees just sort of look really nice with that background. Okay, the wind's dropped down to three mile an hour, so we're just going to aim slightly down this left-hand edge here. Oh, no. Didn't want to do that. Oh, that's going to work out all right, though. Didn't I think it actually cut that corner, but it did. Now, can we reach green in two? Not a bad drive. 325. Okay, 191, so it's playing 189 to the pin, and that wind has dropped right down. What did I say, 189? Oh, ho, ho. that should be good, I reckon. Bit of a left to right slope. Oh, we hit the fast again. Nope, not good. That's left us quite a distance from the pin. A fast downswing. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, it looks like it's caught a bit of a slope there as well. Wow. 
42 feet, one foot up. Looks like everyone's going to left to right. A little bit there, just past the middle, going right to left. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, I'm just under hit that again. Oh, that was a nice putt, though. We'll pick up the birdie. Oh, that would have been a lovely eagle putt. A couple of feet short. It looked like inches on the screen, but I think it was a couple of feet there. K-Ho 8, 228 yards. Par 3, stroking next to We're hitting over the water here. Love the way the sort of path just comes around that. Okay, 226. I'm going to have to go with the uh, four hybrid. Is that going to reach the green? I down lost it at a touch, but even if it does hit the green, it might just shoot right past. Oh no. Oh, just a bit short. So that's going to be a chip and a putt for par. Distance was right, a little bit off target. Notice that swing, I sort of pulled it to the right, right at the top of the swing there. K hole nine, 438 yards, par four, stroke index eight. Okay, looks like we're hitting up to the top of this sort of crest here, and then it's turned round to the right, downhill towards the green. Pin looks like it's right in the center of the green. <clears throat> Eight mile an hour and coming off the right hand side. Two would should be okay actually. That wind should just bring it back in. Lovely. Don't go too far. Come on, pull up. Oh, just. K154, okay, 28 down. So it's playing around about 145. Let's put a bit of loft on this. Come on, wind, push it in. Nope, staying out that. Nice weight, nice distance, but just a little bit right of the pin now. Okay, 12 feet, two inches down. Oh, I'm just missing these. Terrible putt again. Okay, there's another part. Yeah, there's a few I've missed with some shocking putting. Definitely not going to catch these guys. They're all on minus nine. Adam Scott's up there now as well. Okay, again, lovely view off this tee, hole 10, 440 yards, pop off, stroke index 7. Slight little turn after this bunker down to the left. Again, pin looks like it's in the centre of the green. Plenty of room to play with. Oh dear, look at this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I don't know whether to try and take it through there or not. That is dodgy. Gonna make it. Oh, I should have put a bit of draw on it. Is it gonna turn? Turn, turn, turn. Oh, I just made it. Just stuck to the right hand edge of the fairway there. Oh, but that tree's in my way, I think. 126, so it's playing 125. I'm gonna have to aim out here. And put quite a bit of fade on it as well with that wind. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Oh, oh, not enough fade. Oh, that would have been nice. There's going to be another little chip here. Oh, a little bit too much on that one. Should pick up the part. And 
we do? So that's not too bad again. Lovely planting all over that hillside. Okay, hole 11, 155 yards. Par 3, stroke index 9. Another very nice looking par 3, this one. And it just captured that sort of natural look to it. Okay, 150, playing 152. We should be good with that 9 iron, actually. Should be good. Oh, it's going to go a bit right, I think. Oh, that's not bad. That was turning in as well. I have to put a bit of pace on that just to try and cut out that little bit of a break. Okay, Adam Scott's take over. Minus 10 after 18. But you got Shugo Imahira. He's minus 10 after 15. So he, he might pick up another shot or two. Who else have we got here? Oh, quite pretty much the same. Oh, 12, 468 yards. Par 4 stroke index 11. Again, great view off most of these tees. It's a beautiful looking hole, this one. All the way down here, you've got that big lake on the left hand side. There's the snow capped mountains in the background again. Lovely. Bit of wind coming off the left hand side. We're downhill, so we should be able to clear this corner. I hope. Should, should clear it. Yeah, I think so. Oh, plenty of room. K-159, okay, playing round about 163. Now we can go up to the 172 or we go with the 8 iron. I think we'll go with the 8 iron, but we'll down the loft. Oh, not too bad. Could have done with a little bit more on it. But we're there for a putt. 13 feet, 2 inches up. Oh, we get one, finally. Nice birdie. That puts us to 5 under. Oh, definitely not going to catch them. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, what have we got here? Hole 13, 452 yards. Par 4, stroke index 5. Looks like we've got a bit of a blind tee shot here. Up to the top. Takes a little turn around to the left. Again, lovely plant with all the bushes. I think he's done the trees and that down either side of the fairway just as well. Not too many. Very nice. And again, very natural looking. Okay, we're going to aim it straight down the left hand side of these trees here. And hopefully the wind will just push it around. Oh, we hits a slow backswing. Come on, get under that. Get on the fairway. And it's made it on the fairway. That's not too bad. A bit short, but it'll do. Okay, 195, plane 193. Oh, 183. That's a little bit short. Come on. That's not too bad. The amount of down loft we put on it, pretty good distance. A little bit left of the pin though. Okay, 19 feet, 2 inches down. God's oh, going to turn too much. Yep. Oh, oh, oh terrible. And we'll put that right past the hole. Yeah, I thought I took that one a little bit too quick. And it slipped past. That's going to be a bogey. That's going to take us down to minus four. Damn. It wasn't the own fault that, that first putt. But like I say, anyway, guys, I'm just here to have a nice round of golf and show the course off for you. If you just want to play it, 
hole 14, 531 yards, par 5, stroke index 15. Okay, looks like we've got a layup here. Big break in the fairway, bridge going over to the next part. A lovely planting again. That pin looks like it's in quite a tough little position now. Right, we should be good with the two wood. That wind should slow it down for us. Absolutely spot on. A hey, 259. We're not going to go with that. Let's drop that down to the one. No, let's drop it down. Try and leave ourselves a pitch shot. Slow backswing. I'd rather have a hope as a, a not far enough back for a pitch shot. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. That is not bad at all. Okay, it's actually playing 73. Let's put a bit of loft on it. Get the perfect perfect. Oh, just trickles past the hole. Come on, slow up for me. Let's see if we can pick up a birdie here. Oh, bit of a double break up. Oh, and I just missed on the left edge. That's going to be a par. Staying at minus four. Oh, 15, 442 yards. Par four, stroke index three. Okay, let's look at slightly downhill here. Again, you've got the two paths either side going down the fairway. Really does look nice. <coughs> Another downhill. Go over the driver this time. Aim down this right hand edge. Oh, I mean, it's fast. And we've got cars. Oh, that's going to be fine. Didn't pull it too much to the left. Come on, just stay there. That's fine. Just missed the corner. And we're left with 111. It's actually playing around about 108. So let's put a little bit of loft on this. We've got that wind that's just pushing it a little bit. Come on. Hopefully get a birdie here. Oh, still going. Well, that's not too bad. Should pick up the birdie. That's close enough. Let's do another silly putt. Oh, that's a tough little one, you know. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, my putting is absolutely atrocious. <laughs> That's another part. So many missed opportunities. K hole 16, 372 yards, par 4, stroke index 13. Okay, it thins right up down here. That was a bit of a wonky swing, that one. Pushed it way out to the right. Oh, nice kick though. Is it going to pull up in time? I don't think so. Oh, it is. <laughs> nice. That's just enough for a pitch as well. 58. And we've got 57 with the lob wedge. So a little bit of loft on it. Perfect, perfect. Come on. Up. Wow, no bite at all. That rolled back quite a bit, mind you, it rolled downhill, you see it, 21 feet, one foot up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. again, right round the edge. Look where that ended up, other side of the hole as well. 
pin high or hole high. We went sort of did a U-turn right around the hole. Still only minus four. Yeah, minus eleven. Should go finish that. Oh, 17, 211 yards, par 3, stroke index 1. Again, I, uh, like I said about the lighting, got really nice use of the lighting. And if you've noticed, we haven't been putting through any shadows, which is good. K210, 23 down, so it's playing around about 203. 183 is not enough. I'm going to have to go with 6 hybrid, but with loads of loft on it. That's right of the pin, quite a bit right of the pin, and very long. So hopefully we get close enough here to save the part. Oh, I don't think I've hit that hard enough again. No, nope. what am I doing? <laughs> I can, can tell straight away as well. But it doesn't matter, it's been a lovely course to play. Nice, enjoyable round of golf, really has. Very nice course. Okay, you got a par five to finish off with, so let's see if we can pick up a birdie here. Hole 18, 566 yards, par five, stroke index 17. Okay, very thin here. Oh, I'm not too keen on that. Oh, we hit so fast. That's going to pull it left. That's that thin down there, so I think this might come off. Yep, into the bunker. That is very thin now. Oh, that's quite... Quite a steep face, it looks like. But we'll go, we'll go with it. Got it out. Onto the fairway, so that's good. We've got a chance of getting on the green and picking up a birdie here. K167, playing 160, around right about 165. Go down to the 160 with the 8 iron, that should be good enough, I reckon. Oh, I thought we were on a bit of a slope there. Yeah, look, it's going right at the pin. I'm playing too quick. I should have looked at that, but that's good distance. Pin high. Now can we pick up birdie on the last hole? Oh, it's a tough putt as well. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Lipped it. But there you go, guys. That is Hermit of Mink Hollow. And that is by Icy Ken. Lovely course. I really, really enjoyed that. Got my ass handed to me, though, by the, the AI. <laughs> wow. I didn't have to get hammered there. Seven shots, difference. Justin Thomas just came in there at the bottom as well. So there you go, guys. Again, that is Hermit of Mink Hollow. Give it a play. And that is by Icy Kent. Really, really nice course. So again, if you like the content, guys, hit that like button. I'll catch you again next time. Thanks for watching.